Hey everyone, it's Norm from Tested, and I have a simple laser cutter project for you today. Recently, we received this gift for our daughter. It's one of those LED light up signs. This puck here, which runs on batteries and USB power, has an LED strip embedded in it, which lights up some included sheets of engraved acrylic. And the acrylic designs they have here are all right. They're nicely designed, they light up well, you peel the backing off and shine it through the light, uh, and it lights up and you can change its colors. But I have a laser cutter, I have some clear acrylic, uh, and I wanted to make something a little different uh, to add to the value of this display. So the first thing I did was take my calipers and measure how the acrylic embedded into this puck, the depth and the width of it, to know exactly how to make my own sign that would fit into this same base. Next up was coming with the design. I wanted to go with an old patent drawing. So we're big fans of Lego, so I pulled up the Lego minifig patent design, which has that really iconic drawing of a minifig, picked the pose I liked and clipped it out. And we're gonna bring that into Adobe Illustrator. Using Illustrator's trace function, we turn this rasterized image into vectors that we can then engrave, or we can score, or we can cut. Now the idea is I'm going to cut this out of not just clear acrylic, but solid acrylic on top of the clear one. And you can see that it looks like one continuous design with this outline, but what I'm highlighting here are kind of like islands. If I cut this out, those pieces, those small little parts, are gonna fall through. They're not connected to anything. So I don't need them, so I can click them and delete them, or I can actually take them and merge them with the design, because I want the whole thing to be one contiguous piece. Okay, so we have our outline, and like I said before, this is not actually gonna be the clear piece. The idea I have is to stack the layers of acrylic. So I have an opaque piece, a clear piece, and then another opaque piece. And this, I think, is gonna represent maybe the top layer, uh, which is gonna match the bottom layer. So I'm gonna need to duplicate it and cut out two of these. Uh, and if I was using acrylic that had a specific finish, I actually don't want this to be the exact same thing. And so I'm gonna actually reverse it. I'm gonna mirror it uh, along in the axis. Uh, and then that bounding box, that rectangle represents the size of acrylic that I have, five inches by 10 inches, which I believe I can fit both of those onto one sheet with a little bit of scaling and a little bit of adjustment. Of course, now we throw this into the laser cutter, and there you go, you see my acrylic sheet, five inches by 10 inches, but I don't know exactly where it's gonna cut on the laser cutter. And if I wanna cut multiple pieces or do multiple passes, something we can do is take a scrap piece that fills the entire bed and create a jig. So this full sheet goes into the bed of the laser cutter and I will cut out a hole representing the five inch by 10 inch piece. And then I can place any sheet of five inch by 10 inch acrylic onto into that hole perfectly nested uh, so that every time I use that design with this jig, it'll line up perfectly and the design will stay within the boundaries of where I placed it in the software.
All right, we're gonna of course capture some time-lapse footage and thankfully I have this miniature Apple box that Adam made recently, which perfectly works as a little iPhone stand. And switching the camera to time-lapse mode, I like the wide angle camera and turning on the Glowforge. All right, I did a little bit of cooking show and pre-cut a piece so we don't have to wait. Uh, this is a blue sheet of acrylic. As you can see, it's a pretty intricately cut piece. It's supposed to represent that sketched patent drawing. So I have to pop all these tiny pieces out and then also uh, remove the masking, the protective layering, that's the scorch paper on top. And here we have our front and our backing pieces. And like I said, the idea before is to sandwich a clear piece with some opaque pieces. So that kind of looks like you have a little bit of a cross section. You have a bold layer, and then you have maybe the illuminated layer that's behind it or between these two solid pieces. We'll put some white paper behind it so you can see how this looks and well, even the shadow is a pretty nice effect too. Now it's time to design that middle layer. So I have my perfectly scaled piece here and I'm gonna draw a bounding box, have my measurements, of course, of how far this should stick inside that display. So we're gonna use that as our canvas. And what I care about here now is raster, which is the etching of the design, because that's what's gonna be illuminated by those LEDs. And so I have the face of the minifig, I have some of the iconography, uh, and then also just etching what kind of looks like patent drawing designs, some numbers, some perspective lines, and then throwing that into the laser cutter. Okay, it's going through the etch right now, and some of you might be screaming at the screen because I definitely made a little bit of a mistake. I did not remove the front paper, the masking layer, before I made this engrave and cut. So we gotta swap that out. One extra cut later, and we have a clear sheet of acrylic with some nicely engraved designs on it. Now because I removed that masking layer beforehand, there's a little bit of mess above there, some particulate, so we're gonna have to remove that as well. No problem though. Super simple to remove. You can use some isopropyl alcohol, spray it on top, and then using a rag carefully, just kind of remove that. They're not, it's not scuffing, it's just tiny pieces of that acrylic that normally wouldn't be there if you had the masking layer. But we wanted to remove the masking layer uh, so that we didn't have to pick out all those tiny pieces of paper in that design. Looks pretty good. 
we'll do a test, of course. Place it into the puck and illuminate it. And that etching looks pretty good. I mean, it looks, I think, pretty nice already like this. But my idea is I do want to create some uh, layering effects, a little bit of depth. So I take my opaque pieces, align them, make sure everything is aligned perfectly. Looks pretty good. So we'll hit the back with some spray glue and then affix them permanently. Very, very careful here to make sure the alignment is correct. Into the back and then the front. All right, so here we have it. A little bit of a remix of an acrylic display, illuminated acrylic display by adding some opaque layers and stenciling on both sides of it. I think it adds an extra layer of dimensionality and makes it look good even if the light isn't turned on uh, and almost creates this nice cross-section effect. Very easy to do if you have a laser cutter, if you have a vector program like Inkscape or Illustrator using their image trace functions, and you can do this with any raster image, create traces, uh, or just remix whatever art you have in your libraries. I really enjoyed putting this together and I think it'll be a nice display for my daughter's bedroom and hopefully gave you some tips on how you can use a laser cutter, whether you have one at home or you have one at your local makerspace. This is Norm from Tested. Have a wonderful weekend and we'll see you next time.